godlike. What is up guys, this is Godlike Mad, and today we're doing something a little bit different, and I'm gonna explain to you guys why. <coughs> uh, excuse me. So, um, I've had a really tough week so far, and I know I probably sound weird to you guys, and the reason for that is because I'm like really fucking sick right now, <laughs> and uh, it's pretty brutal. I haven't been this sick in a long time. <laughs> It's really awful, and it's made, it's pushed back all my progress, it's made it really hard to record and do commentary, my videos are, are falling behind and suffering because of this, and I'm not showing any signs of getting any better anytime soon, so this is really rough for me, and I actually already recorded a part 2 to my Ike matches, and what happened was my piece of shit capture card just freaked up on me and it desynced the audio made all the footage completely useless and it really sucked because I had some good games as well so for the sake of convenience and saving me some of the trouble uh, these matches have been recorded saved via replays and I'm doing it that way this time because it's easier for me personally and uh, this is probably going to be a one-time thing, unless, for whatever reason, I need to do this again. As you can see, I fully fucked up there. I don't know how I managed to turn Ike around as I was trying to recover. Totally sucked. And that's not, I've never died that way before, so it was, it was pretty amazing. Now, every replay that I've saved and I'm showing you guys right now, they all have their own reason for why I recorded them and I'm showing you them. And for this match, the main point I wanted to get across was Shulk is actually a really great opponent to use Ike's counter on. And you're gonna see that really soon. Because the reason for that is because every time you knock Shulk off of the stage and he has to up B back, his up B is an attack. And as you can see, I keep trying to be really stubborn in time eruption to kill him, but his up is just too fast for me to punish him. So, I really needed to counter right off the bat, and as you could see right here, BAM! I countered him, and it was the reason he died, he couldn't get back because I knocked him too far away. And he's a great opponent to use the counter on when he's trying to get back, and there's a lot of other characters that you could do that with too, like Bowser, uh, Kirby, Anyone who's attacking on their way back up, it's it's really great. Now for this match, uh, you're gonna see me fuck up really majorly here. <laughs> I did really bad this game, but it was still worth putting up. Now was it? I had no jumps for some reason. When Little Mac knocked me off the stage, I lost my jumps. I couldn't jump. As I was falling, Lampy didn't go far enough, and I'm already one stock down, and we're at the same percent. So I'm in a really bad situation here. <coughs> Excuse me. But one thing that I kept in mind was that he's Little Mac, and you should never, not only is the point of this replay to show you guys that you should never give up on a fight no matter how bad it looks, but never give up on a fight specifically against Little Mac. Now, if he was right at the edge there, he could have totally punished me because I fucked up again and I used her backwards. Luckily, I landed on the stage. Now, he just fucked himself, countering me before he hit the ledge. I was really bad on his part because the counter was what killed him, so he shouldn't have done that. And I grabbed just the very tip. So, as you can see, I'm slowly coming back. I decided... I mean, it's ranked. What do you have to lose? You should always try your very hardest in ranked. Because your record's gonna suffer if you don't win, so... You know, just try your very best. So... Uh, yeah, that's really all I can really say about this match. But... Yeah, it's been really rough for me, guys. So again... Uh, forgive me. I, I, I prefer to do these Ike matches live. 
But at the same time, doing replays is pretty convenient because I can pick and choose which matches I want to go up. It's like, if I have a bad match, I can avoid it altogether. Because sometimes I regret recording a bad match. But another great tip against Lil Mac, and Ike is actually very strong at this, is out poking him. And because Ragnall's got such great range, I can do that pretty effectively as Ike. And the reason to do that is because Little Mac is like one of the, if not the strongest character on the ground in the game. He's like faster than anyone, he's stronger than anyone on the ground, like it's, it's, it's pretty nuts. He's really strong, <clears throat> but his recovery sucks ass, so makes him pretty easy to kill. The key is getting him off the stage though. So this match lasted pretty damn long. But, as you can see, it's completely evened up. I poked him, and that was it. <laughs> Ike's side A is just, or rather, tilt A is so strong. It's such a great move, and it's great for doing what I was just talking about, which is poking. It's absolutely fantastic for that. It outranges the majority of characters' uh, range. Now, with this match, there wasn't any real uh, reason why I put it up. I just put it up because, like, it was a relatively good match. Uh, I didn't mind it. <clears throat> Especially at the beginning here. I'm fucking dunking him really hard. But, yeah, I didn't have any specific reason for putting this match up. And again, I want to apologize to you guys in advance because I've been meaning to have my Smash Bros. videos up a lot sooner. Like, I know when I did the first Ike video. I told you guys that I was going to be playing this a lot and making a lot more videos. And I intended to have this part 2 up like days ago. But me being sick has completely ruined my schedule. As you can see, that guy got really uh, greedy and he tried to fly Meanie on the way back and fast fell too hard and killed himself. So <clears throat> he pretty much fucked himself. And now I have a pretty big lead on him. So it's not good for him. But, he gets a pretty good kill on me here, coming up soon. Uh, I tried to like... I, so many times I die as I... It's because I'm trying to perfectly time a killing move and I'll fuck it up. Like for example, Eruption or my Up Smash. Oh, and uh, in advance for this video guys, see as you can see right there. <laughs> I got dunked because I mistimed the Eruption. And uh, a bad habit of mine when I'm playing this game is I'm always trying to contest people. I always want to out-attack someone. And what I mean by that is when someone's coming directly at me, and say it's, for example, someone like Zero Shooter, someone like Sheik, people have really fast attacks, it's not worth it for me to try and contest because I'm so slow. And they're majority of the time gonna beat you out on the attack speed. And that's a really bad habit of mine. I try to do it way too often. Now this match, I have a mouthful to say. So this was the first villager I've fought in online. So I didn't really know what to expect. But as you you guys are gonna see, I catch on slowly to what this guy's game plan is. And you're gonna you guys are gonna run into people like this all the time in ranked. It's there's just people who play this game and they try to figure out a single effective strategy that they can use to beat unsuspecting players, and they spam it. They spam the shit out of it. Once they find something that they think works, they don't stop. And as you can see, this guy is extremely persistent with his game plan, which is stay at the end of the screen and constantly cut down those trees, and that tree is so fucking powerful, as you can see. Uh, I kept trying to contest it, which is what I was talking about earlier, I keep trying to beat him out, but the tree is just so strong and it eats hits, so it's really not a good idea, you should not ever try to contest it. And I know it's frustrating to be out contested when you're Ike, such a powerful hitting character, which is another reason why I always try to do it, really bad habit of mine. And I really need to work on that. But as you can see, I'm pretty behind right now. And this is a really tough match for me to get ahead on. But once I figure out his game plan, I take advantage of that shit so hard. 
But these trees, like, I was not ready for this when I first played this match. And it was just really tough for me. I was so, as you can see, when he died, I didn't even taunt. Normally I taunt every time I kill someone. But this time I didn't because I'm just so into the match, trying to win, trying to come back. And as you can see, I'm starting to even out. And I've completely caught on to his game plan. He's full on running away from me. He's just trying to run away from me and do his strategy, but I just will not let him. I keep knocking him off the stage. And that's pretty much how I pull this one out. Uh, spoilers! Sorry about that, guys. But, I mean, I gotta win. I cannot win. But yeah, so, uh. Th this match was very frustrating in the moment. Again, I tried to contest him there, and I got really lucky. I just made, had enough time to make it back with Quick Draw. And I was really scared because that almost killed me, but then... The golden moment. So, when I killed him just now, it was a perfectly timed, beautiful counter. And there was a bit of a luck factor, because I didn't know when exactly the tree would hit. I wasn't sure if I did the counter too early or too late. So it was really tough to make that decision, but I assumed that it would come out instantly. And I guessed right, and it worked out pretty well. And because I didn't counter the entire match, he didn't see it coming. So I just instantly ended the game with my trump card. So it really worked out. <laughs> this song, Ashley's theme, both the Japanese and the English version, are fucking great. <laughs> I would hate this level if this song wasn't in it. Uh, now, back to the match. Um, so as you can see, I found another villager who has the exact same strategy. Although he seems slightly worse than the other player in terms of skill. But the reason why I uploaded this match is because I, now that I've encountered this villager strategy, I raped this guy a new fucking asshole, and it was so much fun, it was so satisfying, and it was great. Once I figured out that this guy is literally doing the exact same thing the other guy did, I was like, oh, no fucking way. I'm not having any of that, and I'm gonna smash this guy's fucking nuts into a building, which is exactly what I did. So this guy just gets face rolled by me. Now look at that beautiful patience by me. I could have contested the fire hydrant, but I didn't because I it's just hard because that thing just explodes on impact. So I just fully waited for him to get across the whole screen and perfectly positioned myself for a forward air. It worked out really well. And as you can see, I'm just dumpstering this guy now. He can't even handle it. I have such a massive lead on him. And, like, look at that. I just keep jumping over the tree, and he can never cut it down or hit me. Now watch this shit. Oh my god, that spike was just... Every time I see it, it's the most satisfying thing in the world. I fucking love that I hit that spike. Like, that was amazing. Like, that was a big reason why I wanted to upload that match. I just opened his mouth and took a fucking shit in it. A huge steaming shit. And it was so great. It felt so good. And he just choked on it and died. So that was great. Those were my uh, games. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, that was part two. I'm going to try and get my part 3 up as soon as I am able, but again, it's really tough for me because I'm suffering here, and I, I've been really fucking ill this entire week, and I've only seemed to be getting worse, so, again, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, this was Godlike Matt, and tune in next time, because I'm going to be trying to get this stuff up as much as possible, and thanks for being supported, take care.